Uh, hello guys, it's me, Rafa, your English teacher, and today I would like to do my podcast, right? Uh, Rafa podcast, and today I bring my friend Fatma. Fatma, please introduce yourself to us. Hi guys, I'm Fatima. I'm from Indonesia. Right now, I still practice English in WhatsApp group. And by the way, about my age, I'm 19 years old. And right now, I'm a student in the University of Nahdlatul Ulama. Thanks. <laughs> oh, really cool, really cool. And yeah, as we see right now, you have a, a good English, right? And, and I would like to, to know what's the method that you you study right because your english is really good my friend and we and i have to congratulate you about it right <laughs> okay thank you so much for your appreciation uh, i really excited but you know right now i still practice my english i think my english it's still learning mm -hmm. sometimes i'm stuck in my grammar but if you want to talking about method how to speaking english very well maybe i always practice english every day so i want to tell you something about uh, my life why i'm learning english so when i was graduation in my high school mm. i feel so boring you know because mm. I will exam, but the government in Indonesia told us, uh, I don't know how to say it, like, uh, exam, and we don't, we don't do exam again because uh, pandemic, because coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, oh my God, my heart's so broken. I study every day and I don't exam. Oh, so, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I feel so boring in my home during one mm -hmm. month. I feel so hmm, boring. I can go uh, go out and I, I cannot hang out with my friend. And I decide to learn something. And I find, I found about English group in WhatsApp. And I try to chat with other people in a group. But And the first time, I don't understand what they say, like, mm -hmm. what's the meaning? <laughs> and I try to open my uh, Google Translate. And mm -hmm. when I have a call from my, my friends in abroad, I don't understand. Sorry, what did you say? What did you say? But yeah, I uh -huh. always try my best. And then I always uh, read and record tongue twister and memorize some word and mm -hmm. learn about tenses so yeah i can mm -hmm. speak in english just a little but i have my english uh, better thank you mm -hmm. you said something that is very curious right um because you said that i learned from uh, from my school right english but uh, you because of the pandemic you go to to whatsapp right to whatsapp groups to mm -hmm. press right because here in brazil we have many schools right and many as i uh, i mean private ones right because here we don't learn english properly in in a public school right because uh, you learn in a public school right no, no, because, yeah, in my high school, mm -hmm. we have a subject, English subject, but I had English in high school because the teacher always explained me English so very hard about grammar, about, I don't get it anymore, so, but I want to practice English, so I find new way how to uh, practice in English, like, in English online, in WhatsApp, and mm -hmm. talking with my friends from abroad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because I think English is not subject, but English is our life. So if we want uh, good in English, we have to 
practice in English like in our life. Oh my God, I don't know uh-huh. how to say it, but I think uh-huh. you can get my point. Yes, I think that it's really interesting how you said about English because um, many people they think that oh, I have to learn uh, this in English, for example, ah, a grammar. I would like to learn about ah, I don't know ah, uh, for example a verb or or about adverbs kind of things they think that it's just is but no it's not just about a uh, subject right in english it's not about ah uh, how uh, how to say uh for example a uh, verb no no it's about your living right you have it to inside the english right you have to inside english to your life and i think that it's really interesting this immerse right you said that you have to you are immerse yourself with english right and it's it's getting better right Mm -hmm. yes and for example um do you think do you feel comfortable to speak english uh, right now, after you do this, after you are introdu- you are immerse yourself with English. Yeah, I feel so confident because I don't know. I think when I after learn English and speak with my friends from abroad, from Brazil, from US, from Iran, mm-hmm. I feel so. Oh my God! J- just because I learn English. Um, in WhatsApp, I can open my perspective. I can, like, know about. Um, I don't know how to say it. Like, yeah, I have uh knowledge from others' perspective. Like, I with you always talking about religion, about religion, about anything that we want and. When I'm talking with my friends from abroad, from Iran, I always talking about the education like that. So English is not about language, but it is about key, how to open the world, open our knowledge. It's real knowledge from English, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. It's really cool. It's really cool. But you think that, um, for example, the accent, the Indonesian accent of English, it's really difficult to understand or know what what do you think about when you talk to someone from your country? Uh, sorry, what do you mean? Like accent? about a- accent, right? About it is um strong it it is it is um very easily to understand what do you think about mm-hmm. it because your your language your mother tongue influence so much or oh, no what what do you think about i think um about mother tongue and english is uh, really really different mm-hmm. because you know when we pronunciation in English and Indonesia is different, like we, we want to put jacket and English is jacket, jacket. But mm-hmm. if we told it in Indonesia, I call it jacket. So, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. different. I think uh, as Indonesian people to learning English, it's so difficult. Because mm-hmm. it's very, very different from other from my mother tongue. Uh-huh. Because for example, I think that uh Indo- Indonesia accent it's really easy to understand, right? For me, it's it's just my opinion, right? Because I have some friend that like you, it's from Indonesia. And and I think that it's really easy. But for example, for us. Brazilians, right? You said that this comparison that you say, oh, jacket in my language is jacket, da, uh, and you said that you confuse sometimes, right? And here in Brazil, we have this, right? For example, uh, the verb to love, right? 
Many Brazilians, they say, love it. If I say love it, you will understand, you know, love it. Or, for example, Andy, <laughs> oh no, what do you think about just a little, just a little. <laughs> okay, because um, for for example, I don't I uh, I I was talking to other friends and they said, Rafa, uh, it's really difficult to understand some Brazilians because of that, right? Because uh, some says, uh, Andy, um, love starchy with this I right in the end. And it's really, it's really, um, it's really crazy, right? When you see some Brazilians talking to, you. and and I and I think that other cultures probably they have some problems. And when you said about about your language, about the <laughs> the jacket, and I think, oh, it's not the exclusively for Brazilians, <laughs> right? And let me ask you about something about about in your in your university uh you do you think that english influence so much about the the your course or no the teachers they give in english class or i don't know some terms that it's really important to understand in english mm -hmm. and my college Right. Yes, in, in your course, in your course, for example, I, in your course, I I I use English for this. Oh no, other other oh. reasons. No, no. Uh, actually, no, because <clears throat> when I learning English subject in my class, the lecture uh, give me a class like in Indonesian language. Mm -hmm. They explain us about uh, about English language, about English subject, but in Indonesian language. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there is no class who speaking English because in here, all of my friends, I think they can speak English very well mm -hmm. because it's really hard. Just uh -huh. a little. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I have a friend. Uh, she can speak English very well, but she have take course for five months. So maybe in Indonesia, if we want to speaking English, we have to course. Mm -hmm. But it's really expensive, I think. Yes, I I I get you. I get you because here in Brazil, they super value right the the English course because here we have. Yes, we have many, many courses. We have many, many uh, teachers and Raj, and they do high prices, Raj. They put high prices. And I think that um, if someone has the ability to learn by themselves, yes, they could, right? Because of the, because of internet, right? They could learn by themselves. And yeah, yeah, it's it's really important. But um, I don't think so. They they call it. They could get. Yes, they 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 get informations right. But living, it's totally different. It's totally different because you see that you perceive in yourself. For example, you said that half. Uh, I learned a little bit in my in my course, but living. It's totally different, right? Because, for example, uh, if we talk, if we talk with Americans, right? If we talk about Americans, they have many slangs, many many slangs, right? And if you don't use to hear those expressions, it's really difficult to understand them. Because if you see uh, in the films, right, or movies. Or movies, they talk many, 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 many. Or in the daily life, for example, here uh, right, uh, right now, right? We you probably use a phrasal verb or or an idiom, right? And I think that it's really hard to a school to explain it. Really, really hard. <laughs> 
Yes. And let me see more. Let me see more. Uh, Fatima, for example, uh, right now, let's, let's talk about um, English, right? Uh, by yourself, for example, uh, do you have that some advice to us to, to practice English in ho at home? Because you say that you practice it uh, at home. Right after the pandemic, right? You are studying, you are doing uh, your exercise, you are on, on WhatsApp. Do you have that um, a book that an a specific book in your language to uh, to give us as advice? <laughs> I mean, advice in how to speak in English, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. My yeah. My advice is just like so simple. Never stop learning. Because yeah, it's key. You know, I had learning. My heart just I want to play video game, watching YouTube and everything. But I think if we never doing something new. Mm -hmm we we're gonna be stupid people so i think we have to practice every every <laughs> oh my god we have to practice every day for mm -hmm. make better like english we have to practice uh and i remember when i learning english i learning from about from uh tenses and then i learn from how to pronunciation word like that's so simple mm -hmm. <laughs> my yeah. advice is just never stop learning never stop learning yeah it's yes. really important <laughs> uh, good advice good advice never stop learning right because uh, i don't think that you, we should go to other country to learn english right because we mm -hmm. if we have internet Of, uh, of course, we have many formations, but if we keep, right, if we get the accurate, accurate information, of course, we will learn, right? Of course, if we, we inverse, right, ourselves about, ah, I would like to learn English. Ah, I would like to, to practice English with someone, Of course, we will find, right? Of course, because uh, there are many Americans, there are American <laughs> Indonesia. Um, uh, yes, many people, many people uh, that speak English. And it's really cool. It's really cool from the internet. And mm -hmm. Fatima, really thank you about this interview. I really like that to know about you more and I expect that they like you of course because you explain so well about about your life you explain so well that how you learn English and I'm so thankful I'm so thankful about it thank you so much my friend yeah me too you are welcome never <laughs> stop learning okay never stop learning yeah my friend and Thank you so much and bye-bye. Stay with God. Mm -hmm.